Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another vlog, another vlogmas video. So today we have tons of errands to run. I need to go get my tree. I need to go, um, dang, I forgot already. Oh, I need to go to the mall to return. You see all them boxes and stuff? We gotta return all that. It didn't work out, so it gotta go back. I'm a returner of clothes. What are you like? I know a lot of people are like, I'm not returning that. Like, I'll just throw it away or whatever. I return my shit, okay? Oh, and then I also need to go to Whole Foods to return something from Amazon, but then also do a little bit of grocery shopping. So let's go. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn your post notifications on. Follow your girl on Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. And let's get started. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing too. Hold on. Okay, I am wearing this Gymshark. Um, half zip, also Gymshark leggings and a Gymshark sports bra. It's really giving gym girl. She used to be a gym girl, y'all. Remember when I used to go to the gym all the time? Um, Nike Vimero sneakers and then this little jacket from Zara. I need to get back in the gym, honestly. But my life literally just... This is cute. The only part is the buttons broke, so I cannot button it up. <laughs> These two. They didn't break, they're right here. Like they're on their respective things. They just broke off of this side, so they're just here. So I don't take them off because I don't want to lose them until I can like sew it back on. Um, oh, and my purse. I'm gonna be wearing a red purse. My little Bottega because I feel like it just adds a little holiday cheer. Let me try to move y'all down so you can see better. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Still not completely full body, but you get it. <laughs> so, yes, we are headed out. Um, dang, now you're not me thinking about the gym. I need to get back in the freaking gym. Y'all, what? What? Look at this freaking PR package, that drunk elephant. Yes. The drunk elephant sent your girl. Me? Out of all people, me? I'm on drunk elephant PR list. Baby, let me tell you something. I always go back to the story because I remember when I used to pray that I would be on just one PR list. I didn't even care who it was. I think my first PR list was like somebody random, honestly. Like, I don't even remember. So, to be on PR lists of brands that I actually really do love. God over there doing his thing, okay? But listen, you see this little bag? First of all, let me show you the box. I go to the mail room. This big old thing is in there. I could fit in this box. So I'm looking like, what is this? Like I didn't order nothing that goes in this box, but I saw an elephant on the side and I'm like, I know that gonna wear drunk elephant. Girl just opened it, a big old tote bag with some products in it. I haven't really tried anything else other than the polypeptide cream, which I love, it's expensive but it's good though, okay? So I haven't really tried anything else from Drunk Elephant, but they sent me these two. They're new, I'm assuming. So there's a, what is this? A night serum and then this is a cream. I'm excited to try this because their cream's just so good, super hydrating. Especially in the wintertime, you need something a little thicker. And then this big old bag, y'all, look at this. It's pink and green, so obviously it gotta go to my mama because she a AKA, so my mom will absolutely love this. But I still can't believe that me and my Bob are on Drunk Elephant's PR list. I am just cooking right now. I made some wings. Um, they look a little light skin because I literally just put them in there. Again, they literally just went in there so they looking a little pale. But I did hop on a meeting earlier and that was literally it. Um, other than that, I've been like planning my day, well not my day, oh my God, planning my week and then also the rest of December as much as I can um, as far as content goes so that I can stay on track for Vlogmas and Instagram and TikTok and all those things. Y'all, trying to balance a bunch of platforms at once, it ain't easy, okay? It's hard, but I'm gonna make it work because it's what I like to do. I really love what I do. But girl, it ain't easy, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Good morning, y'all. So, I'm about to try a new coffee creamer that I just got from the Z grocery store. Well, Whole Foods. It's from Khalifa Farms. And they have different um, flavors. The cookie butter one. 
and I just got a regular French vanilla just in case because I already know that I like French vanilla. So got these two because my last coffee creamer was the people over there, you know, that we don't support no more. So we had to switch it up. <laughs> so I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna try the cookie butter one. It looks like cookie butter sounds like it's good. So we're gonna try her. My camera's dying though, y'all, so. Um, also, the girls are coming over today to film a video, so that's gonna be fun. I'm excited because I miss my girls, and honestly, a small moment of vulnerability. Ooh, how do you say that? Vulnerability. <laughs> I actually like hanging out with my friends has been so therapeutic, and like even them just like simply talking to me or even just texting me and say like, "Hey, what you doing?" or just like sending me funny videos like stuff that just brings me joy and again I take pride in my friendships you know what I'm saying so the people that have really been there for me like it's just no other feeling okay I can already tell the froth is not the same I don't know if I can see but it's just not the same so let's try it Let me, let me, here, okay, you take an egg, and then you take an egg. Okay. Kayla just wanted to scoop the shells out. Are there shells? No shells. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> I ain't trying to be crunching on it. This song isn't loud enough. Am I talking loud? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Sheree. Date tomorrow? The ninth and tenth. <laughs> what are we doing this weekend? Oh, oh it's like That was good. Oh, um, I have made it we harder. are <laughs> packing up our store. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, I just had this random urge to redo my coat closet because I feel like I don't deserve all of these coats. And let me tell you why. I was online and I saw this really cute coat and I'm like, oh, I should get this. It'll look so good, blah, blah, blah. It'll go great in my collection. Oh wait, your collection is too big. Girl, you can barely fit anything else in this closet. So it's time to give away some stuff because I don't even wear half this stuff. So I need to get rid of it. That's what that means. So it is 9 p.m. and I just had this random spurt, so we're gonna just go with it because I'm gonna take advantage of all the energy. This is my coat closet, but I do keep a lot of like detergent and stuff because my laundry room is right there, but I don't have any other space in my laundry room. So I just use this for like detergent, mop stuff, and also down there is like extra paper towels and stuff because the extra bathroom is literally right here. Enough about that, let's get into the coats because I'm trying to stall because I really just, I don't wanna let stuff go. <laughs> but i really need to okay first off this jacket right here love this is from diesel this is a ride or die so she's staying for sure it just fits so good the crop is perfect and y'all know i love green so she's definitely staying for sure i feel like she makes simple outfits look kind of extra a little bit you know next is this jacket i got this from lulu's but i guess it's this brand it's probably like a wholesale brand and i don't know I'm not really feeling it. I don't wear it as much. It is a really good brown jacket, but I think I'm kind of over it. I have this one also from Zara, and yes, they're two different colors, but girl, do you need both? Absolutely not. So I really need to pick which one I'm gonna keep, but then it's like this one has a green tone to it. I don't know if you can tell. If you have it, I feel like everybody has this, so I have to get rid of this. We're gonna put both to the side because what if I just get rid of both? This jacket right here, literally my rider that I've had this since college, y'all. This is from Topshop. And it's just a perfect little crop denim jacket. I love her. But part of me feels like it's time to let her go. Because I got it in college. Even though it's a timeless piece, I got it in college, girl. Okay, so it's just 
simple and I feel like I would want something with a little more flair. So we're gonna keep her for now until I find something better. Here's my other black leather jacket. Um, this is from Kai, it fits great, you know, I love her. But I feel like I need a full length one, like something that's gonna cover me up. So I did order one, it's on the way. Maybe it'll get here by the time this video goes up so I can show y'all. But yeah, we're definitely gonna keep her. I love the quality, she fits great and I'm feeling it. But I do know that I'm missing a full length leather jacket. Now I feel like that can replace this one. This is from H&M. It's just pretty much the same, super, super, super cropped, but it's just like a bomber style. I feel like, mm, I don't need this. It's ran its course. She was cute, but do I need it? I don't know. So we're gonna put her in the maybe pile. Then I have these two jackets from Zara once again. I actually originally only wanted this one. Y'all know this jacket from Zara, the classic one with the pockets on the front. Literally everybody has this jacket. But I got it in blue because this one has sold out for the longest time. Then they dropped it in blue and I'm like, I'm never gonna get the black one, it's sold out, whatever. So let me just get the blue. Then they gonna restock the black one. So I got the black one, so now I have both. Never even wore the blue one. So I feel like she can go for sure. Because girl, cause when am I wear with that? Who knows, but I've worn this black one a million of five times. So I know I'm gonna keep this one. This one can actually replace that black bomber. It just gives a more sophisticated vibe while this one gives an edgy vibe, you know? This right here, not even a jacket, it's a shirt, but we can get rid of her because I literally never wear her. So she's out of here. We got an extra hanger. I love it because extra hangers around here is rare because your girl got so much stuff. Next one, BBX brand. I actually need to get this dry clean, but she's cute, you know? I just feel like the fit is off. Everything I order from BBX brand, the fit just be so off. I don't understand it, but she's cute. So maybe we'll keep her for like the summertime. I feel like this would be cute in the springtime with like some little shorts or something. So I don't know. I have the matching bottom too, but the matching bottom, girl, I'm too thick for them things. They are so tight and they're supposed to be oversized. Like what? Next up, my two trench coats. I actually have three. <laughs> um, this is like a denim one. I love this one. I didn't realize how versatile this was until I started wearing it and just kind of throwing it on with everything. And it just goes with everything, it's crazy. So I have a scarf um, on here too. The scarf is from Hollister, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, I love her. So we're definitely keeping her. And then this brown trench from PLT that everybody always asks me about, we're definitely keeping her. We just got her. She's staying. I also have a black trench that I need to dry clean. So I feel like my trench coat collection is perfect. All I need is maybe like a cotton one, like a plain cotton one, even in like this color maybe. This jacket, I have plans for her in the summertime and literally never wore it. Also from Zara, so she gotta go, I'm sorry. Because I'm probably never gonna wear that thing. Okay, we got a bomber jacket. I got this from Uniqlo and it was on sale. I think I got it for like $20 crazy but I've never worn it and I just it's such a simple jacket I just feel like I don't know what to do with it it's so weird I mean, this one is some she in like maybe six seven years ago have you ever shopped at like a super cheap place like I don't know just anywhere and you get something and you're like this is nice like this should be cost way more than it did right and i actually got this sent to me because i used to work with them a lot if you know you know if you're og i think it might be time sis i don't know i just love the little details on it like look at the sleeves like the it's like tucked i guess or something Ooh, my two super long denim over shirts so this one is from essentials and then this one is from zara but this one is like distressed if you can see oh my god girl show it distress on like different parts of it i don't know if y'all could tell but i love it it just it just does something for me so she's definitely staying and then my black denim one i don't know i wear it a lot when it's a little bit chilly outside but we'll keep them i mean they serve their purpose and i do wear them but just not right now i guess it's too cold so we'll decide during the springtime and then i also have this other full size um denim jacket that i just kind of don't like it's from misguided misguided is literally no longer i have this zara one it's like half 
denim half bomber i love this because it just gives me best of both worlds it looks different it looks like oh where'd you get that like it kind of doesn't even look like it's from zara well i guess it kind of does but it just looks different in my opinion so i'm definitely keeping this because she's going to get worn and also she's a little warmer because she is filled if you can see now these blazers y'all these blazers oh my gosh i struggle with blazers so bad to find one that really fits the way that I want it to. So this one is from Naked Fashion. She's annoying. I don't like the way it fits, but I keep it just because it's black and just in case I need it. But I'm not a fan, okay? Like I literally cannot find a blazer that looks good on me. And I have my eye on one. I have my eye on an hourglass blazer actually. But it's expensive. <laughs> it's so pricey. So I think I'm just gonna keep this one just for any type of purpose pretty much and then once i get the hourglass one i'll throw that away well I'll give it away this one child from she in like literally a million and five years ago i've i don't even think i've ever worn this so she can go and i don't think i really want a white blazer anyway this one is from rayona they actually sent it to me um i think the sleeves are too short for me to be honest i think if it was a little more oversized, what size is this? A medium large. I feel like if I got a large, extra large, I would love it. But the sleeves are too short for me. So unfortunately, she got to go. But the quality is amazing. Okay, Rayona, they doing it. And I think Rayona's black owned too. So definitely going to put that on my Poshmark. And then this one right here is from, oh my God, I thought this was a different one. This is from my girl I Design 8 in her Amazon The Drop Collection. So we love her. You can put this on, what size I get in a large? You put this on and then you tie this around your waist. So I'm definitely keeping this because I feel like it's versatile. You can wear it like this. You can wear it with the belt. You can wear it so many different ways. She's definitely saying. And I love this color too. So now I have a black and a brown one, which is all I need. Oh girl, you thought we were done? <laughs> Fooled ya. So I got all of these. Now I forgot I had this one, the brown one from Girlfriend. This is from Revolve. And I love her. She can actually serve as my full size denim jacket. So I, now I don't need another one. What I think I'm gonna do to this jacket though, is get these sleeves tapered a little bit more because as you can see, they are kind of just straight out. And so they don't cuff on my arm like I want them to. So I think I'm gonna taper them just a tiny bit or maybe even just add another button to go like that and i feel like this will be a hit but since it's super super baggy and boxy sometimes i don't like to wear it so once i do some small adjustments i feel like this will be perfect i have another coat this is kind of like a um it's a trench but it's this material so you know i like her but i don't know why i'm just not the biggest fan of this it's just not my style anymore i got this maybe like two years ago, two or three. One of, I think it's like two years. And it's just not my style anymore, I'll admit. You know, it's cute, but she just don't do it for me. Like she doesn't impress me anymore, so she gotta go. I feel like your clothes should make you excited when you see them, like make you wanna put it on and wear it the next day type thing. Just like this leather bomber, girl, she gotta go. This thing is from Boohoo. Yes, boohoo. And I got this so long ago. I want to tell you like four years ago. So she ran her course. Make sure check the pockets because I always be leaving stuff in these daggone pockets. Could be some money up in here. Nothing. <laughs> but, but I feel like I can do better than this. And also the leather just looks so cheap. Like I could, I could do better than that. So we're going to get a different, a different something. There's also this coat right here, which is technically my winter coat, but I want to get a new one so she can go to. This is from Source Unknown. And if you know Source Unknown, I feel like their um, their fit on their clothes is just so weird. It's so weird. And they charge so much for these clothes that I'm sorry. They be getting from like these super low quality vendors. Yes, vendors and it just don't be it like i don't know i've ordered from them multiple times and every time i order something i'm just like 
Okay, girl. So, um, this coat was cute for the moment. It does have like a little tie. It doesn't even have buttons. You have to close it with the tie. So we're over that. You know, I want something that has a little bit of security, something that the wind won't blow up into. Yeah, she gotta go. And then last but not least, there's my favorite cardigan. Don't ask me where I got this from because I have no clue because the brand that I purchased it from, they didn't private label their clothes. They still have the wholesaler in here. I know this wholesaler because y'all know I used to have a store, um, a clothing line. So yeah, I recognized the tag as soon as I saw it. I was like, ooh, P.O.L. But this is one of the popular clothing wholesalers and they sell a lot of like sweaters, chunky stuff. So she did not private label her sweater. So I have no clue where I got this from, but it is so cozy. I wore it on Thanksgiving and it's super, super long, super cozy. Like the sleeves puff out, but then they also cuff on your wrist. And I'm telling you, like this thing is just a big old blanket and I love her. And I feel like we did a great clean out. We got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven oh eleven we got rid of eleven coats all right i feel like we did really good y'all i feel like i deserve every jacket that i see now i really don't but i feel like i deserve to add a couple more to my collection so once the new ones comes in i will unbox them with you and like try them on and everything but one is definitely a pop of color because as you can see it's just a lot of neutrals in here. It's red, so I'm excited for that. So, if you will never, ever, ever be a part. Oh, girl, quit playing. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can see that I'm messing up. And then, what are you saying? Yeah. Never, ever, ever be a part. Love it. giveaway time and look at all these press ones y'all y'all know i love to get my nails done and if you are a nail girl too you have a chance to win all of these or just some of them i do want to give you the chance to pick which ones you want these literally look like my nails right now and these are so pretty for new year's you'll also get some magnetic ones how pretty are those so if you're a nail girl like me make sure you comment down below which set of mine has been your favorite over the years and all this could be yours hey y'all i'm getting ready because we're about to go to a candle making class for my friend's birthday. I'm just oiling my hair. I used my Fable and Maine hair oil. There we go. This one, and I just put it in my hand like that. I probably do like two full things, but I already put some. I'm just doing this to show y'all. And then I just put it all over my strands. And I also put it on my scalp too. I already did that. So I just kind of massage it in. Okay. She just texted me the dress code. She said we're wearing something chill. So that's what I had planned anyway, to be honest. Um, and so I'm gonna let that just sit in my hair, honestly, until maybe tomorrow. Two giveaways and one video. Yes, two winners in this video. I'm gonna be gifting you guys these gift sets from Shea Moisture. I really enjoyed working with them and I actually found some products that I really love so I wanted to share these with y'all. There's also a nail set in here too. If you don't win the nail set giveaway, you can still get a pair of nails. All you have to do is follow the directions on the screen. Yes, you can enter twice and just comment below hair and then let me know your favorite hair product down below. Right now we're doing like an activity and then later we're going to dinner so. I don't know how big of a gap I'm gonna have between this and dinner. And I need me some time for this hair, okay? So, I think it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Or should I get rid of the part and just do all of it back? Getting my hair in a freaking bun is always the hardest thing ever because I'm such a perfectionist with it. And even though I don't have to be perfect or, I don't know, like, anybody looking at me, girl? I always just, I don't know, I've always been so angry about my hair. I've been angry about my hair since I was little. 
Like my hair always has to look good. But that comes from like, I feel growing up, I always had to have my hair done. I always get my hair done, always like getting little twists and stuff like that because I had really frizzy, fuzzy, big old curly hair when I was little. And you know, my dad ain't know what to do with it. So he had other people kind of just like styling my hair. So I was always, I always grew up in that hair salon. If I can find some pictures, I'll put them in. But my hair used to be so like, <laughs> just crazy y'all. Okay. This is not even the neatest. I don't like this. No, we're not gonna settle for this. What time is it? Girl, you need to be settling for it. You gotta be late. But yeah, I always say it with like some twists, some braids, like stuff like that as a kid. I never had no hairstyles with my hair out because it would just be too much. Like just way too much to maintain. So I stayed with a cornrow in my head because <laughs> ain't nobody know what to do with my hair. All right, so I'm about to get dressed. I'll show y'all what I'm wearing after I get dressed, but what time is it? I need to leave pretty much in the next like 10 minutes. So I am just gonna throw on like moisturizer. Probably that's it. Maybe a little bit of mascara to lengthen my lashes. Some earrings, a little chill fit, and that's it. I mean, where should I really even start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead. Thought my raps were the facts so they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out the same. With me, he the way. It's a big gap between us in the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. Okay, y'all, we're back home and we changed into our dinner outfit. I'm just wearing this black dress from Skims. My shoes are over here. Y'all, look at these from HM. Shut up. Look how pointy they are. And you know, I feel like with the fast fashion brand, you can never get the right. Point. Like, I don't know. And then also look at the heel placement. Is this not giving what I think it's giving? Exactly. It's giving a nice little Balenci dupe. And they are like a velvet type of material. So good. Just too good. Here, I'll give you a close up of. Here's a close up of the material. Like, come on now. So I'm going to be wearing these. And. They have everything in there enough and they also go up all the way to your calves and i like that because i know i struggle with boots because my calves are semi big they're not huge but for the most part they don't really fit in boots so these they're stretchy and they can go all the way up here and they won't move because they're stretchy so they're kind of like snug to your leg so can you see how cute now ignore these i need to actually do my um my artwork ideas that i have for these but that's another day <laughs> but this is the fit and then i think i'm gonna do a black bag or red because my nails are red but this is the fragrance that we're wearing the finery sweet on the outside oh this smells so good y'all i love 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 this Still on top, these niggas wanna swap. Niggas wanna swap like the sauce in the box. 